we're going to go up this track. Okay. And this is the track we're going Just before to completing the breaking of camp at Maggie Hayes Hill, we have a quick briefing to discuss the route we're going to take. This map showing all the old routes that were plotted when they were building the rower lines out this way. When we flick to this new version, you can see the black lines representing the tracks we are trying to discover. This is a map that I have made. All these tracks that are shown here are tracks that I have found over the years while exploring the wood lines out of Norseman. You can see this area where the black lines are, the same lines on the previous map, and these are the ones we are going to try and find while we're out here. Salmon gum, black butt, and the iron. Which one? The right one. We're about to cross a small section of Lake Johnston. We have to be very careful here as these lakes can be quite muddy and once bogged can be very, very difficult to get out of. While looking for Maggie Hayes Hill last night, Paul managed to stake a tyre. He was able to fix the puncture with a couple of plugs, but the next day these plugs failed and the tyre ran completely flat and was destroyed. Shortly after fixing Paul's rear tyre, we've just found out his shock absorbers on his trailer have um, failed. We've just pulled up, we're going to have a cup of coffee and we're going to take them off. Don't buy an MDC trailer. At last we're back on the wood lines. And now the real hunt for those old railway lines begins. An essential piece of equipment on the wood lines northeast of Norseman is a chainsaw. Trees often fall down over the tracks, and rather than make tracks around these fallen trees, we always cut them off and re from the main route. After all the dramas with Paul's trailer on the Hyden Road, we eventually made the wood lines and we have now set up camp near the horse yards that I first spotted on Google Earth. We're done. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Of course, you can hold. Yep. Stop it there. 